We are here with Ambassador Sadikov. The Democratic Republic of Azerbaijan was born on May 28, 1918. What does it mean this day for all the nation? Uh, first of all, I would like to say that uh, the Republic, Democratic Republic of Azerbaijan, which was born in 1918, was the first democratic republic in the whole Muslim Orient. It established the first uh, parliament in the Muslim Orient, it established the first university, the first voting right for women. So that's why psychological and historically it's very important element in our history. Azerbaijan is a country with uh, a very ancient story and culture, but uh, lately it experienced uh, a significant uh, social, technological and economic uh, development. So what is the secret for such an impressive growth recognized by all the international community? Well, uh, Azerbaijan has always been a very industrial country, even in the period of the Soviet Union. But after the collapse of the Soviet Union, the re-establishment of independence gave us new opportunities, new possibilities, and we became part of the globalized world. Our relations with many countries of the world are very good, in particular with Europe and in particular with Italy. With Italy we do a lot of uh, projects in economic field, in scientific field, uh, so that is why, first of all, it is the strong uh, labor, uh, strong work of the population of the country. Country. And secondly, it's uh, also the presence of good friends uh, like Italy, with which we develop our relations. So we can talk about Italy and uh, your experience here as an ambassador since uh, 2010. We are here not to ask you about a valutation of your assignment, but uh, we would like to know um, what were the aims uh, um, for the develop um, of relations between Azerbaijan and Italy? Italy and his aims are reached by now? Uh, it's a good question because in order to uh, <coughs> answer this question I have to say a couple of words about history. We are very lucky that uh, with Italy we have a very big historical uh, element of our relations which go back to Marco Polo when he was traveling across Via de la Seta and Azerbaijan is in the middle of Via de la Seta. We had our envoys in Venezia and in Germany in the Middle Ages and we had Italian envoys in Azerbaijan. So this is very important from the point of view of history and psychology. And that is why today for us uh, to develop relations with Italy it's something that comes from our, from our soul, from our heart. We know each other for many, for many centuries. And uh, Italy is one of the biggest countries of the world. It's the member of G7. It's the founding member of EU. <coughs> so that's why uh, our present day relations with Italy it's a natural result of both history and of the present time and this year for you is really important because the European Games take place in Azerbaijan in Baku to be specific from June 12 until 28th and Azerbaijan had implemented a lot for the organization of this event what does it mean for you this world level event we were very honored and very happy when two years ago the European Olympic Committee, which is based in Rome, <coughs> gave us this privilege. It's an honor, but it's also responsibility and privilege. 38 countries out of 48 voted in favor of Azerbaijan. We had only two and a half years to prepare for these games, which start on 12th June, but we decided to make it on the level of the Olympic Games. So the level of preparedness is, is on the very top level. Everything is ready. Italy will be represented by more than 300 athletes. Altogether we will have about 6,000 athletes from 49 countries and so I think that it will be a very important event because it's the first European Games and it will be a festivity of friendship, a festivity of sport and festivity of uh, for, young, for young people. Uh, this is today the most important element in our life. Thank you so much. We wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much.